The cold weather is not the only thing that will send chills through your body. Prices at the gas pump are expected to rise even more this week. But a new CBS poll shows that 63% of Americans still support sanctions on the Russian oil and gas, even if it means our gas prices go up. So to help you out, lawmakers are looking at all options tonight. W News 2's Amber Lake has more on the push to suspend the federal and state gas tax. According to a local economist, whenever you get a gallon of gas in our state, you pay a state tax of 36 cents and a federal tax of around 18 cents. So lifting the gas tax would be beneficial at the pump. But what's the catch? Well, suspending the tax would likely delay much needed money for transportation projects, meaning those potholes you might be wanting fixed could be taking a little while longer. Safe to say gas prices are getting out of hand. It's hurting my pockets a little bit. Yeah, it's real rough with this gas. But could there be some relief on the way? This week, Democratic governors in six states sent a letter to Congress urging federal lawmakers to pass the Gas Prices Relief Act to suspend the federal gas tax. The Gas Prices Relief Act would suspend the 18.4 cents per gallon federal gas tax until January 1st of next year and 36 cents on the state level. NC State economist Mike Walden said that could mean a halt on the state's efforts to improve roadways, something that some people who live in Greensboro think doesn't need to happen. I mean, the gas prices are temporary, so I feel like the, the roads and everything else is, is more important because there's a couple holes on East Market that I feel like need to get fixed already. So Others think differently. They got the money for the road. They need to lower the gas price. People can't eat now. It's like, do I eat or do I put gas in the car? If this were to happen, a spokesperson for Governor Roy Cooper said he would want to make sure that the road projects continue and the savings actually go to the customers. Senator Phil Berger is skeptical. Unless we get serious about addressing supply, we'll cut the gas tax, uh, the price will still go up, uh, and you know what do you do then? But Walden says this highlights a long-term issue. And the gas tax has a problem because people are looking at driving vehicles that have other fuels, for example, electric EV vehicles. Today, the national average price of gas is $4.32. It is getting on up there, and our state isn't far behind with an average of $4.18.